Following a steep slide from its all-time high of $1,209 per share last year, analysts have been forecasting a return to its prior level of performance. Ron Barron, a longtime Tesla skeptic, is the most recent expert to do this. Aaron thinks Tesla will eventually recover and that it is an unstoppable force. What makes him think that and when will this stock start to rise again? Let's investigate. Tesla stock has fallen 18 so far this year, trailing the D500, uh, which has decreased by about nine during the same period. The poor showing comes after a stellar 2021 in which Tesla's minus 0.1 shares increased by over 50. A wider sell-off and high growth, high multiple equities has propelled the recent sell-off as investors brace for stronger monetary policy and interest rates this year. Investors in Tesla and Tesla are familiar with Ron Barron. With a when investment in Tesla, Incorporated Barron predicted in 2016 that the company will rank among the most valuable in the world. Press at the time, one of the leading investors in the electric automaker was his company, Barron Capital Management. Barron Capital has almost 6 million Tesla shares, making it one of the company's largest long-term investors. Fortunately for Barron, such shares only come with a $42.88 ownership value. A $4 billion profit was realized from the investment, but according to Barron, that was just the start. In the next 10 years, that amount may triple. Mm. According to Barron, the business model of Tesla it was more important to his investing firm than the stock's yo-yo fluctuations. He said, when we invest in a company, we aren't concerned with the stock prices. We're concerned about the business. I'm not sure what will happen in the near future. Its market capitalization is, I believe, currently close to $400 billion. It is worth $40 billion when we start. Uh, Barry predicted that Tesla stock prices would surge once more in 2020. Barron continued by saying he had been saying for a while that Tesla's market value would be between $1 trillion and $2 trillion. Um, he said, I think $2 trillion is the right number given recent events. When Tesla's market value surpassed $1 trillion in 2021, it created history. Now, Barron predicts that Tesla will build more factories and sell $500 to $800 to $800 worth of automobiles over the next 10 years perhaps returning 300 investors. His forecasts have come true thus far. Will they materialize again? Barron explains his first investment motivation in Elon Musk's electric vehicle company. He gave an explanation saying, I believe that the opportunity with Tesla was to change the cars that we build in the United States from gasoline to electric, which was a first. For this to occur, you needed to be an excellent leader, a superb engineer, and a knowledgeable technology user. Then there were the well-established interests to deal with such automakers, dealers, and oil companies, while most people were betting against Musk. I was betting on him. Barron clarifies that he believes in Tesla because of the company's innovative approach as well as its business acumen. Barron clarified they're innovating at light speed. They're doing the same thing with the autos. They're even doing it with space, and he's quite right. So uh, what distinguishing feature of Tesla is there? What? is the secret sauce that has made Tesla a success and won over even the most ardent doubters to the company's abilities. Barron thinks Tesla is unstoppable because of its innovation. Tesla is renowned for producing groundbreaking inventions that are revolutionizing the automobile sector by rapidly delivering state-of-the-art features and technological advances. Since its inception, Tesla has maintained a continuous innovation agenda. In the car industry, it has stimulated innovation increased competitiveness, and promoted electric automobiles. It's no secret that alliances with formidable rivals like Mercedes-Benz and Toyota have contributed to the expansion of the electric vehicle market. The use of renewable energy sources has accelerated thanks to Tesla's solar energy innovations, which have also further damaged the position of fossil fuel businesses. Tesla demonstrated their awareness of the need for advancements in battery technology last year when they acquired SolarCity. I made their foray into the energy industry in 2016 when they acquired SolarCity. Tesla has transformed our understanding of energy storage as part of its dedication to the advancement of renewable battery technologies. Since then, the business has consistently promoted technological advancement that doesn't negatively affect the environment in all of its partnerships and projects, which has improved the company's reputation and increased its value. Without a doubt, the company will surpass its current level and become even more relevant as it grows and develops new technologies. Since the manufacturing and distribution of electric vehicles are closely correlated with the firm's profit margins, Tesla is currently operating at a faster pace to meet its objectives. The company has given top priority to expanding its factories. 
Fantastic. News for investors that Tesla has finally received approval for their Berlin facility after a very long wait. Germany has finally granted the Tesla Gigafactory Berlin environmental permission after a protracted process marked by setbacks, demonstrations, and other drama. To confirm the update and outline the next steps for the electric car manufacturer to start vehicle production at its electric vehicle factory in Germany, the state of Brandenburg published an official document. The permission for Gigafactory Berlin covers a wide range of activities, uh, including the production of up to 500,000 automobiles annually, according to the state's most recent statement. Uh, the authorization also covers activities related to the Giga Berlin complex's fabrication of battery cells, meaning Tesla will be able to produce its own cells in Germany. Uh, what does this mean and how will it impact Tesla's ability to recover and reach greater levels? Elon Musk's ambitions to unseat Volkswagen as the dominant player in the European electric vehicle market which now accounts for 13 of sales, depend heavily on the Gigafactory. In Europe, Germany's leading manufacturer has the advantage, but if Musk's plan materializes as planned, it might not last long. Uh, in addition, the facility which Tesla has begun constructing under pre-approval licenses will have a battery plant that can produce more than 50 gigawatt hours annually, significantly more than rivals in Europe. Uh, Musk said that although the batteries used in the on-site cars will initially originate from China. He intends for the German battery plant to reach commercial production by the end of the next year. The company wants to invest up to 4 billion euros in the project and is planning to create 500,000 battery powered vehicles annually. According to media estimates, we uh, contextualize these numbers, take into account the following. Uh, with a surface area of 6.5 square kilometers, the Wolfsburg Volkswagen factory home to the company's headquarters and the largest single automobile production complex in the world, produced just over 700,000 automobiles in 2018, uh, according to the corporation. By 2022, 428,000 completely electric and plug-in hybrid electric vehicles will be produced in Germany by all of the automakers combined with 62 of those vehicles going overseas. All of this will undoubtedly lead to a stronger push toward electric vehicles with Tesla leading the way. In the meantime, the price of Tesla stock continues to rise. Precisely as Baron had predicted, uh, bullish triggers like the Berlin Gigafactory, innovative new battery technology, spike in oil prices, and general renewed confidence in the corporation, in our opinion, are to blame for this. If there's one thing that Tesla fans have learned to anticipate from the company, its improvement with every quarter that goes by, the automaker will only concentrate on expanding two new locations and releasing its new 4,680 battery technology and structural battery pack in 2022 as Tesla's momentum continues to grow. Some reports state that Tesla's mass market Model 3 and Model A car deliveries are increasing since they performed so well at the end of 2021. But will the stock, as Barron says in the interview, continue to rise to the heights of its heyday or perhaps surpass last year's levels by 300? Uh, Barron said, we invest in firms that are investing in themselves without a doubt. This is precisely how Tesla operates. He made the point that Tesla has expanded its vehicle selection, started new businesses, and built numerous facilities throughout the globe using the money it has made. Your next, uh, according to many observers, Tesla's future is only going to get better on this track. Increased factories lead to increased production, which in turn generates more profit and more money for investors overall. Don't overlook the importance of innovation. Um, we completely agree with Baron that this is what makes Tesla unstoppable. Tesla will always remain one step ahead of its competitors and secure a larger share of the market due to its inventive and agile nature. But these competitors have a long way to catch up, especially when considering the statistics in the U.S. Sales of electric vehicles are led by Tesla and the company's two most significant markets are China and the US. Tesla shipped 936,000 cars across the globe in 2021. Its additional plants are expected to open, so that number will rise significantly. Therefore, we think Baron has a point. Uh, when he says that Tesla will all undoubtedly see a remarkable comeback, do you share Baron's opinion? Can Tesla not be stopped? In a few years, will investors in Tesla realize a 300 return? Please leave a comment below.